What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. So first up I want to show you a tweak called Folder Blur. Now Folder Blur basically gives you some more options for themes for the backgrounds of your folder. So you can see right here if we go into the Folder Blur you can see all you need to do is tap on Style and then it's going to give you all the different themes or styles for Folder Blur. So just to start off you can see that right now I have Blurried, Most Blurry set. So if we go back here and we open up a folder you can see exactly what that looks like. Now coming back here, let's go over to, uh, let's try the dark glass opaque. We'll check out, see what that looks like. Obviously it's going to be quite a bit darker and obviously a little more opaque. So not as much transparency there. Now if we come up here, let's try something a little bit more transparent with the milk glass clearer. And we'll see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good as well. But one more I want to show you, probably my favorite here is blurried and clearer. So if we jump down here, we open this up. You can see what that looks like. Probably my favorite theme out of Folder Blur. But there obviously are a whole lot more, but you can check this out for yourself because it's a free tweak in Cydia. So go ahead and check it out if it's something that you want to use. Next up, we have a tweak called Eclair. So normally when you're on your device, you open up an application, maybe you're looking through pictures or whatever you're doing, and you lock your device while you're still doing that particular thing. So later when you unlock your device, it opens up back directly to that application or to those pictures or to whatever you were doing. So if someone's actually looking over your shoulder, maybe you're about to show them something on your device or whatever, and it opens up to something that you don't necessarily want them to know that you were looking at or doing, well, then that's when Eclair comes into play. So what Eclair does, as you can see right here, let's go ahead and open up an application. We'll just say we're opening up the calculator. So now when I lock my device and then I unlock it again, you'll notice that it's not going to be in the calculator. It's going to be right there on the home screen. And that's what Eclair does. And you can see right here, if we go into the settings here and we jump back to the settings for Eclair and open that up, you can see that all of our toggles are right here. So of course you want to enable this and then right here is where you're going to want to toggle on to hide the app. So if you want to hide the app, toggle that on and anytime you close or lock your device while you're in an application, then it's going to close that app and it's going to unlock directly to the lock screen. Right down here you can also close the application completely, terminating the app if you toggle that on. You can blacklist applications if you want to do that. And you can also toggle on ignore the now playing application if you have something playing. Now right here you can toggle this on to go to the home page after every device lock. So if you want to do that then you can do so right there. But this is just another form of privacy for your device. And if you want to check it out it's 99 cents in Cydia. Here we have a tweak called Image Board. Now Image Board is going to give you the ability to put a background on your keyboard right here. So we just go over here to our settings and we're going to go over here to Image Board, open that up, and right here you have your three buttons. Select an image, save an image, and delete an image. So these two right here, save and delete, are actually going to automatically respring your device when you tap on that. So make sure that you tap on your selected image, and then let's go down here to Wallpapers, tap on this, and then we're going to save the image. It's going to respring the device and then apply that image to the background of the keyboard. And you get a pretty nice effect. I'll show you what it looks like when we respring. All right, so now that we're resprung, we'll go ahead and unlock our device. And you can see right here when I pull down and pull up the spotlight that we have image board taking effect right now. So we have that picture in the background of our keyboard and I think it looks pretty nice. And if you want to do the same thing to your keyboard, then this is a free tweak that you can download in Cydia. Next up we have a tweak called Define Activator. So if for any reason you're on the fly and you need to define some word or you're having trouble remembering what a word means, then you can do so using Define Activator. So all you need to do is just download and install Define Activator and then right here is where you're going to set up the activator gesture to look something up. So let's go ahead and go down here to, uh, let's scroll down to, let's just do a slide along the screen left from bottom to top. And then right down here we're going to tap on Define. So now when we come here, we're going to swipe up for the activator and you can see that you can now define any type of word that you want to. So let's just say we're going to define test and tap define. And then you can see this is going to pop up the definition of that word in a dictionary. So pretty cool little tweak and something nifty to have on your device. Next up is a tweak called particle wallpapers. Now this is a tweak that basically gives you eight more new dynamic wallpapers on your device. So if we jump into the settings here, it's actually going to be directly into your wallpaper settings. If you go into here, choose wallpaper and then tap on dynamic. Right down here is where you're going to get all of your new 
particle wallpapers. So if we tap on these, you can see exactly what it does. These are gonna be all exactly the same other than the color, but it looks pretty nice. The only downside of having these types of wallpapers is the battery draining quite a bit quicker than it normally would. But you can see right here, here's the blue. We also have yellow, and these are all these solid colors that we have right here. And then down at the very bottom, the last wallpaper is actually a multicolored one. So if we go ahead and tap on the multicolored one, we're gonna tap set. We're gonna set this as our home screen, and we're gonna go check this out. And you can see exactly what that looks like. So in actuality, it looks really nice. It does definitely affect the battery life, but if you're willing to sacrifice that battery life or something that looks pretty cool, then definitely check this out. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Smooth Cursor. Now what Smooth Cursor does is give you the cursor effect that you get in Office 2013. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, it basically makes the cursor not jump from key to key like you normally see in iOS, but it actually smoothly moves the cursor along as you type. So even when I hit the enter key, you'll notice that we have a cursor slide along the screen over to the left hand side. So now when I start to type something here, so let's just say that I start to type, hey guys, what's up? What are you doing? And you can see that that cursor is always constantly moving throughout the text as I type. And that's basically what Smooth Cursor does. Also, when we start to place the cursor here, you can see that it smoothly or fluidly moves across right there. So that's what Smooth Cursor does. It gives you kind of a higher frame per second uh, cursor than you would normally get in stock iOS. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.